What is up everybody and welcome to FLW Videos. So Pokemon as well as Pokemon Go recently announced that Victini is going to be the official Pokemon release at Pokemon Go Fest for 2020. So a lot of people are going to be curious about this Pokemon. Should you maybe go ahead and get a Go Fest ticket because of access to this Pokemon? Should you power it up? Should you unlock a secondary charge move? And of course, so much more. Secondly, I'm going to talk a little bit about the theory behind why they're releasing it at Go Fest and why I might not actually end up agreeing with that. But anyways, if you do enjoy this episode, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Victini with a max CP of 3265 Victini is a dual type Pokemon of Psychic as well as the Fire Typing so this CP may seem familiar to you. It's actually because it has the exact same stats as Mew, Celebi, Jirachi, those mythical type Pokemon and to be honest as far as those past Pokemon are concerned they have found a way into Pokemon Go being usable even from like the PvP side which has been exciting so we're going to talk about the stats first just to kind of re-review those numbers. So anyways, when we go ahead and take a look at this, we're going to see that its best stat is its stamina stat, and then its worst stat is going to end up being its attack stat. Unfortunately, it is the attack stat. We obviously don't like seeing that for, you know, it just happens for whatever reason. It has an okay stat. It's also unfortunately just competing against Pokemon like Mewtwo, which have an attack stat of 300 and the exclusive moves Ice Strike. So it's going to be difficult for Victini, of course, to compete from that perspective. However, it ends up maintaining an overall ranking of 56 in Pokemon Go, so definitely looking good, just generally speaking. So we're going to go ahead and head over to the moveset and see exactly what is going on with this Pokemon. And up first, we have the Psychic Typing, where we've got Confusion, as well as the move Psychic. So looking good from there, it's technically the most ideal Psychic Type moveset you can have besides an exclusive move, just because Psychic ended up getting buffed and it is now better than Future Sight. And then from the Fire Typing, Unfortunately, we don't see a fire type quick move. That's just how the cookie kind of crumbled in this case. We know that Niantic likes to unfortunately influence Pokemon based on the moveset that they get. It does get overheat, but without that quick move, it's going to make it very tough with this Pokemon as far as its performance is concerned. So let's go ahead and head over to the raid side and see how this Pokemon is going to perform. We're going to go up against a Machamp, which is weak to the Psychic Typing. Psychic Typing love to show up in this case. And if we go ahead and scroll down, we got to scroll down pretty far. We can see Pokemon like Celebi in the number 18 spot and then Jirachi in at the number 19 spot. Uh, so the reason why I decided to display this, Victini is not loaded into the Poke Battler website just yet, but Celebi and Jirachi have the exact same set of stats. The only difference is going to be the typing. And even then, I think it ends up being worse for Victini because of Machamp having access to a rock type charge move. If that ends up happening, I mean, Victini could technically do a little bit worse, but we know it's going to be somewhere around this position because they have the exact same move sets, and then they, of course, have the exact same stats. So it's at least close just to give you the option or the idea that it's unfortunately not going to be that great from the raid side. Anyways, what we can do now is actually head over to pvpoke.com and talk about it from a PvP perspective. So anyways, the first thing that I thought we would mention, and it's just because there's something unique about it, is the move Overheat. So Overheat is actually going to end up lowering your attack every time you end up using it. That's very important to mention because if you use Overheat and then the opponent shields, then you're kind of dead in the water because you're lowering your attack stat, lowering it, and then you'll end up landing a lowered attack stat Overheat, which is not ideal by any means. So it is, of course, going to be dependent on whether or not you can land these unshielded Overheats but like we said with the moose set, it's unfortunately a little bit predictable because it is so small. People are going to know that Victini has an overheat, so just kind of keep that in mind. In the Ultra League, we see a huge jump in performance, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. So when you take a look at this top list, you're not really seeing a lot of Xs. Victini can technically take on some of the top Ultra League Pokemon. Of course, it is going to be a little bit of a toss-up because like I said before, some of them, you have to be able to land that overheat. If you can't land the overheat, you're not going to be able to take them on, especially a Pokemon like Registeel, for example. If you can land the overheat, it's lights out for Registeel. Like I said before, I worry that people are going to be able to predict that move, but let me know in the comment section below what you think about that. So anyways, if we go ahead and scroll down and we can take a look at the charts related to the wins and losses, you're going to see some pretty decent numbers for Victini. You can see that it ends up getting an overall win rate of 57%, a loss rate of nearly 43%, 
And if you saw the Great League stuff, I mean, it's an improvement of like eight or nine percent. So it's kind of interesting to see how this Pokemon's going to perform in the Ultra League is basically what I'm saying especially for the fact that it's able to take on some of the top meta. It's going to be interesting to see if people actually end up using Victini, especially in the Ultra League. But anyways, I would love to know what you think about this Pokemon in the comment section below. I personally don't think it's going to end up being worth powering up. However, at the same time, we're lucky that it is best at one specific thing. It ends up getting the best performance in the Ultra League. It's not good at raids and it's not good in the Great League, which means you just have to assign it to that if you want to use it. If you're interested in PvP, the ideal IVs that you would want to, of course, have are going to be 10, 15, 15. Because this Pokemon is mythical, because you can't trade it, you're only going to get one. So you have to cross your fingers. Maybe the IVs will let you decide exactly what you want to do with this Pokemon. But one final note, I mentioned this at the beginning of the video. What the heck is going on with this Pokemon being released at GoFest? If you don't know, this Victini is actually from Generation 5. And we ended up skipping the Gen 4 mythical Pokemon equivalent, Shaman. And Shaman actually has two different forms, the Lamb form and the Sky form. Sky form technically has different stats, which I was personally super excited about. But for whatever reason, Niantic skipped it. And I would love to know what you think about that in the comment section below. Why not Shaman? Why Victini? Is it literally because there are two different forms and they think, oh, we'd have to do two different quests or something? I don't know. I would love to know what you think about that in the comment section below. And I will see you next time. If you want to develop a deeper connection, I would highly recommend you to check out Patreon. We've got a lot of really cool things going on over there. Check out all of these supporters that we have. We are almost up to 100. We are also posting some special content, some behind the scenes work. And if that is the type of thing that interests you, I would highly recommend you to check it out.